early stages. And as they sort themselves out, one of the first away is Mr. Dinos in the centre and Persian Punch up there on the outside. Jardine's look out just dropping in behind with Pujin and Black Sam Bellamy is also very handy in the early stages. Kastari back on the inside of runners. Through the back in the field, buried there is Mamul from Theljana as they stride up the straight the first time. And Persian Punch, it is out in front. Competing at Royal Ascot for the eighth consecutive year, this remarkable horse, he takes them along by two or three lengths to in second uh, on the inside, Black Sam Bellamy. And then as we change camera angle on the inside, in third is Mr. Dinos, followed out wider than the yellow cap of, uh, at this stage, Jardine's lookout, then Castari, who's tucked away behind them. Further back then is Pujin with the black cap. They're being tracked by Mamul in the royal blue colours of Godolphin. Out wider then is uh, Alcazar as they travel up the home straight the first time. Tholjana is just in behind that one as they've got just under two miles to travel. Then Savannah Bay and then on the outside, second last is Fight Your Corner and last of all is Pole Star. About 10 or 12 lengths covers the field and Persian punches the leader. Persian punch by two lengths to Black Sam Bellamy. A length and a half away is Mr. Dinos in third. Half a length away then in fourth is Jardine's lookout. Tucked away behind them, Kastari in the Aga Khan's green jacket. Followed out wider by Pujin and further back then is Mamul. They're being tracked by El Kazar at this stage from Tholjana. Back towards the rear of the field is Savannah Bay and company there with Pole Star. And still bringing up the rear and the white cap is Feichel Corner heading down the side and it's Persian Punch who's just trying to get away from them slightly. Martin Dwyer in the saddle by four lengths to in second. Black Sam Bellamy. Mick Canan awake to the tactic and the tempo just being up slightly. A length away then in third is the well-backed Mr. Dinos. Two lengths further back then on the outside the yellow cap of Jardine's lookout from Kastari. Then the black cap of Pujin back in the field and just preceding his stablemate Mamul, the better fancied stablemate. El Kazar is back there, the yellow cap of Savannah Bay. Then Tholjana Pole Star as well back as they race down the side of the course now. They've got short of nine furlongs to travel and Fight Your Corner is still well out the back. About 12 lengths covers the field now as they head towards the mile peg and it's Persian Punch striding along. His eighth consecutive appearance at Royal Ascot. He's run in, so this is his seventh Gold Cup and he leads by half a length. Mr. Dinos is now moving up to try and apply a bit of pressure here and Martin Dwyer riding along on Persian Punch out in front. From in second, Mr. Dinos. Then in third, on the in the outside is uh, Black Sam Bellamy. They're followed then by Jardine's lookout and tucked away behind them, Kastari. Further back in the field is Pujin with a black cap and then uh, Mamul who's tucked away on the inside. And the pace is really on in earnest now as Persian Punch really starts to increase the tempo as they race uphill now towards the five furlong marker. He leads by half a length. Mr. Dinos out after him. Two or three lengths to Black Sam Bellamy in third. Then Kashtari tucked away. Out wider than Jardine's lookout being hard ridden. El Kazar is next and further back then is Mamul who's going through on the inside. Back in the field then at this stage Savannah Bay but Mr. Dinos ranges up on the outside and grabs the lead on the home turn. Sprints two lengths in front of Persian Punch. Then Black Sam Bellamy who's out after him now and they've sprinted away by two lengths to Kastari. Magnul with a long way to make up from El Kazar as they round the corner in the Gold Cup. And over on the far side it's Mr. Dinos who heads up for home two or three lengths in front. Persian Punch is running a great race in second. Mamul running on in third followed then by Black Sam Bellamy, Kastari and Polestar right down the outside. But the bird might have flown. It's Mr. Dinos who's sprinted four lengths in front now. They're not going to catch Mr. Dinos. He's careering away with the Gold Gold Cup, punched out by Kieran Fallon. Mr. Dinos is going to go on and win the Ascot Gold Cup by the best part of five or six lengths. In second, Persian Punch. Third, then on the outside, Polestar. In fourth, then was Jardine's lookout, followed by Savannah Bay, then Mamul further back in the field. Kastari, Black Sam Bellamy, Pujin, then Thol Jenna from Fight Your Corner and Alcazar. Let's see them cross the line. Mr. Dinos. Despite the ground, the fears that Paul Cole had about this pretty fast ground. He's won it by six lengths. Persian Punch, an honourable second. Third then was Polestar. Fourth is Jardine's Lookout. Mamul fifth. Sixth then Savannah Bay. A gap then of seven, or back to seventh is Kastari. In eighth is Black Sam Bellamy. And then a long gap to the others.
But there is the winner. And Kieran Fallon brings up his first winner of the meeting here on the third day. It's taking him until the taking him until the 15th race of the meeting to actually bring up that winner, but he's got a string of minor placings to his credit as well. Number 11, Mr. Dinos, owned by Mr. C. Schiacolis, trained by Paul Cole and ridden by Kieran Fallon, is the winner of the Gold Cup. Second is number four, Persian Punch, owned by Jeff Smith, trained by David Ellsworth and ridden by Martin Dwyer. And third, number five, Polestar, owned by Mr. D. Russell, trained by James Fanshaw and ridden by Pat Edry. And fourth is number three, Jardine's Lookout, ridden by Daryl Holland. So the winner is Mr. Dinos. A one by six lengths officially with three quarters of a length.